Hi, my name's Riley Coy. I'm with Oklahoma Forestry Services. Uh, you may notice that we've been ravaged by an ice storm that hit much of central Oklahoma and western Oklahoma in the last week or so. Looking around, how can any of these trees possibly be saved, you might be wondering. Well, we're going to show you a little bit today about what to look for in your trees, uh, what, how to assess your trees, and whether or not they can be saved. So two things we want to talk to you about today. Safety, first and foremost. You're going to be working around a lot of unstable limbs. You're going to be using sharp equipment. We want you to be safe, especially if you don't use this equipment often and you're out there in a pinch trying to get some of this work done. Safety first is number one priority. Secondly is patience. This is not just going to be a couple month cleanup ordeal. This is going to be a long drawn out process. And we want you to realize that having patience is okay. Trees live a long time. They're on a much longer time scale than what we are. They can deal with this stress. So it's not important that you have to go out there and fix all of this damage right now. Have a little patience, prioritize, get your most important hazards out of the way first. The things over your roof, the things over your driveway, the loose limbs that have potential to do some damage to yourself, your family, or your property. That's what we want you to focus on. Now, inevitably in a situation like this, we're gonna have an army of people with chainsaws knocking on doors. We want you to be cautious. While they may be good to help you clean up your yard, pick up the deadfall, clear out the driveway, we really stress the importance of having an ISA certified arborist look at your trees and check them for structural integrity, check them to see if they may potentially survive this or may have to be removed. Uh, they're especially trained in looking at tree damage such as this. So we have a link on our website treesaregood.org that can find you a certified arborist wherever you're at within the state. So while you're out there doing this cleanup, there are a couple things to consider. Wood utilization is a big one. All this debris laying on the ground is going to go to the landfill. There are some things that you could do to potentially utilize that wood. Uh, get together with your neighbors to get a contractor and maybe get a lower rate. You can utilize uh, the limbs and debris as mulch. If you do lose a large tree, there are sawmills around that will happily saw that up for you, turn it into slabs, allow you to make something out of that old oak tree in your front yard that you've been so attached to your whole life. Uh, if you go on our website, there's a link called Sawmill Map that shows you all the sawmills in the area. That's a great resource to use if you are having to lose your trees. One of the biggest decisions you may face is whether or not to keep your tree. And Oklahoma Forestry Services has some guidelines for you to follow to help you make those decisions. So we're out here today to kind of take a look at trees that have varying degrees of damage to them. Let's take a first look at one of the trees that didn't really sustain too much damage. So we have a sawtooth oak right here. If you look up into the crown, you can see that several of the branches are broken off on it. And it's only a small percentage. I would estimate this to be about 25% of the crown gone. So this tree has a really good chance of surviving. If you look up top where some of those branches are broke, one of the first things that you should be considering doing is that needs to be cut back to the next union because if you just have a real jagged broken branch on there, what you're gonna see is a lot more decay will move into the tree. But overall, this one is in pretty good shape. Even though you see a lot of degree, debris down on the bottom, this is a candidate for keeping around. So if your tree looks like this oak tree, there's about 75% of it that has been damaged. If you take a close look up the main trunk of the tree, what you'll see is none of the heartwood has been exposed. So the branches that have broken off of this tree can be correctively pruned back on the main trunk. And up at the top of the tree, it still has its same leader. So these are one of those candidates that although 75% of it is gone, this is one that we really should take a look at, do some mitigated pruning on it, and then monitor it for the next year. Because once you remove those hazards, it's not gonna be an elevated threat until sometime down. Mm -hmm. 
One of the things that we noticed this go around because it was such a historic uh, event is that some of the trees that we normally would associate with being ice tolerant, like bald cypress, even sustained damage. Maybe it was just happening so early in the year, but bald cypress is one that we usually see do well. But even so, that's not the case with this one. So this is an older established bald cypress, and it's lost about 50% of the, of the branches on one side of it. And so this is one of those, the top is intact. I think with some corrective pruning along those branches that were lost, this one is certainly something that we should give it another chance just to see how well it could possibly recover. What's unfortunate is that we're seeing a lot of what's behind me right here. When you have that tree that is over 75%, and in this instance, this tree is obviously one of those that we should consider removing. Because if you look up into it, all the, all the damage is going into the heartwood of the tree. So it's unfortunate, but this is one of those that we probably should go ahead and schedule to have removed. <clears throat> now we've given you a whole lot of advice here today know that there's still a lot of different places that you can go. Go to Oklahoma Forestry Services webpage, www.forestry.ok.gov, and then certainly look for resources from Oklahoma State University. They have a number of wonderful fact sheets that they have that can help, help us get through this. And again, lastly, please be safe and please be patient. Our trees have been recovering from these kind of tragic events for a lot longer than we've been helping them. So reach out to us, reach out to those in the know, and hopefully we can all get through this together. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.